Hello dear students of class 8. I am here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about Unit 5, Lesson 1 from English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen, Making Difference, the Beginning. So after the discussion of today's class, we will be able to read and understand texts through silent reading. Infer meaning from context. Listen for information. Ask and answer questions. Write answers to questions. Before starting our reading part, the main part, we will discuss the techniques to develop vocabulary skill. Because we know that without meaning, reading and understanding of a text will be very difficult. First, let's see how can we guess the meaning of an unknown word. You may think it is bizarre, but it is not. Because you may not be familiar with the word bizarre, but I think you can guess the meaning of it. So, what does bizarre mean? Yes, it means unusual or unbelievable or weird. Now, we will see some other words and try to guess the meaning. The technique is known as finding contextual meaning. Number one. So, what we need to do, we need to observe the situation very carefully and try to think what can be the meaning of that unknown word. Yes. The word is alter. Shamim did not know my sudden visit to his house. He was about to visit his village, but as I arrived, he altered his plan and stayed at home. So, think about it, altered. The main situation is that, as I arrived, he altered his plan and he stayed at home. That means, he didn't go to his village. Exactly. So, think about it. What does alter mean? Yes, I think you're right. Alter means to change. Okay, see the next situation. See whether you can guess or not. The situation is like it. Detest. Everyone in the class likes chocolates. But Shimul does not like chocolates because he detests sweet. The word is here, detest. He doesn't like chocolates. He detests sweet. So, I think you're right. Detest means to dislike something. If I write here, he does not like sweet, same thing. Or if I write here, he dislikes sweet, same thing. Yes, detest means here, dislike something. Second technique. Let's see how same words fail to show the same meaning. Yes, it is important. Same word cannot show the same meaning. Meaning changes with the changing situations. Okay, let's see. The word is mean. I think mean is such a word I'm using frequently. Okay, see the example here. The situation number one. What do you mean by liberal? And situation two, I don't like mean people. Same word, mean, mean. But do you think that these two mean are same in meaning? In the first sentence, mean is a verb and it means to intend or to express. But the same word mean in the second sentence means selfish person. Here, mean is an 
adjective. So here, mean people means very selfish person and mean, the first sentence means to express or to intend. Okay, see the next word, desert. See the situation one. I like to visit desert very much. Nomads desert places at random. They never stay at place for a long time. So, in the first sentence, desert means an area where a few life form exists. It is a noun. In the second sentence, desert means to leave. Here it is a verb. And in the last sentence, death is his desert. In this sentence, desert means a reward of punishment. It is a noun. So death is his desert. That means death is his reward or punishment. So very interesting. Same word, but meaning is not same. Now let's read the following text and choose the best answer from the alternatives. Remember one thing that is very important, silent reading. So when you stay at home and you read your text, try to develop the skill like silent reading. Okay, you don't read loudly. Silently you will try to understand the whole text. But now, I'm reading it loud. There is a small village called Bhavanipur in Chinaida. It is a typical Bangladeshi village. People here spend their day-to-day -day life mostly working in the fields and doing household work. In this ordinary village, there lives an extraordinary woman named Shamima Akhtar Maya. Shamima's willpower and determination have made her extraordinary. She has seen the most cruel aspect of life, but the cruelty could not defeat her spirit. She has come out as a winner, defying all the odds of life. Shamima is now 32 years old. She has only one son named Ashikur Rahman Konuk. She runs a small boutique called Oiko Narikolan Shangstha in a village. Let's hear from Shamima how she succeeded in setting up her boutique. Okay? Now, from your reading, choose the best answer from the alternatives. Number one, Bhavanipur is a typical Bangladeshi village. You need to find the underlined words meaning. Option A, unusual. Option B, usual. Option C, famous. And option D, infamous. Think about it. What can be the answer? Try to guess. Typical, yes. Typical Bangladeshi village. So here, typical means usual. Exactly. So see the next question. Shamima is an extraordinary person. Here, the underlined word means option A, common. Option B, simple. Option C, amazing. And option D, normal. So what do you think? Extraordinary. We know very well that ordinary means very simple. This ordinary means simple, but extra means beyond simple. That means amazing. Very clear. Yes. Now go to the next option. Question three. People of determination succeed in the long run. Here the underlined word means option A, willpower, option B, weakness, option C, strong desire, and option D, wish. Okay, think about it. What can be the right answer? Yes, you are right. 
the answer will be willpower question 4 shamima has faced the darkest aspect of life here the underlined word means option a appearance option b position option c characteristics and option d peace yes correct answer will be characteristics question 5 the tragedy in shamima's life could not defeat her spirit here the underlined word means option a ghost option b soul option c strength and option d wisdom so here the answer will be soul exactly so i think with the technique of vocabulary you have already solved these five alternative questions now see the next practice you need to read the text again and then match the phrases with the meaning let's see so this is the table you need to match from this left side to right side okay so let's start day to day household work cool aspects of life come out as a winner all the arts of life typical bangladeshi village so these are the phrases and these are the meaning unkind happenings in life become victorious everyday life difficulties of life having all the regular features of a bangladeshi village domestic chores so let's begin try to match the answer with the phrases day to day what can be unkind happening no become victorious no everyday life yes so the answer is here everyday life okay see this household work okay household work that means work that is related to our home unkind happenings never victorious no difficulties of life no having all the regular features of a Bangladeshi village no domestic chores yes domestic chores that means household work okay option three cruel aspects of life cruel aspects of life okay unkind happenings in life exactly unkind happenings in life and cruel aspects of life same thing okay number four come out as a winner okay come out as a winner yes right option is here become victorious come out as a winner become victorious all the odds of life so what can be yes difficulties of life and the last is typical Bangladeshi village yes one option is remaining that is having all the regular features of a Bangladeshi village yes I think this helps you to understand vocabulary better now we need to read the text again and answer the following questions remember you need to read the text again and again so that you can understand better yes so now question answer question one what type of village does shamima live in i think answer already in your mind the answer will be shamima lives in a typical bangladeshi village question two what do the people of bhavanipur village usually do usually do okay the answer is the people of bhavanipur village usually work in the fields and do household works 
Now question three. What has Shamima done to make herself extraordinary? The answer is Shamima has developed a strong willpower and determination to make herself extraordinary. Now see the next practice. So what you need to do, write a paragraph about Shamima from your imagination. In your paragraph, write what Shamima should do for the good of her own family as well as the other families in the village. This is a sample paragraph. Let's see. And then what do you need to do? You need to follow this paragraph and write down your own with your imagination. Yes. Motin is a successful businessman in his village. With the help of the farmers in the village, he has started community farming to plow lands together. His hard work and farm determination have taken him to success. To be successful in business, he is to remain busy. As a result, he cannot give quality time to his family and to his villagers. However, he should keep enough time for his family. Moreover, he should make a plan for outing in a nice place. Apart from it, he should think of his villagers. He should create more employment opportunities for the villagers. Besides, he should help his poor neighbors and take initiative to solve the problems. By doing such kind of activities, Motin will be more social and an iconic figure for his villagers. Above all, his selfless activities will improve the society and create a healthy environment. You will follow this paragraph and try to write your own with your own imagination. Let's see what we have learned so far. Yes, we have learned about reading and understanding texts through silent reading. inferencing meaning from context we have learned lots of technique how to infer the meaning from the context yes listening for information yes we have found lots of information from the context asking and answering questions yes we have answered lots of questions from the text writing answers to questions yes we have written answers of the questions so these are the part we have learned today so far thank you very much follow the instruction of government and stay safe follow facebook and youtube to see the class again thank you again from amar ghare amar school goodbye